Hi everybody, it's Christy. I'm going to share with you my top lifestyle favorites from the year 2014. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. If I've blogged about this particular item, I will link that blog post down below as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. First thing I'm going to mention as a favorite are my EAS soy protein powders. I have the vanilla and the chocolate format. I use uh, these in my in my smoothies after I get done working out or sometimes when I just want something healthier to drink or a meal replacement for example or a snack. I like both of these. I don't like a lot of protein powders but those are my favorite. My favorite coffee creamer that I like to put in just about any coffee flavor K-cup in my Keurig is the Nestle Coffee Mate Cin Cinnamon Vanilla Cream. This is just my favorite coffee creamer and I have continually purchased it all year round. My favorite yogurt that I'm loving is a brand called Noosa and this is a brand out of Colorado. I apologize if you can't get this brand in your area but be on the lookout for it. They are so delicious. I like the consistency and all of the flavor offerings that they have with these. Passion fruit iced tea lemonade that I've been making. I found a uh, recipe on Pinterest, I'll link that down below. found a recipe on Pinterest to duplicate this Starbucks drink and make it at home, which I actually quite like because sometimes I want a little bit of sweetness, but I don't want as much sweetness as what they put in at the store. So this gives me the opportunity to really play around with the flavors that I like, but just get that exact level of sweetness and tea that I'm looking for is my limited edition pumpkin spice K-Cups from Green Mountain Coffee. I am a pumpkin spice fan. Sorry for those of you that are revolting against pumpkin spice lovers, but this is one of my favorite coffees of all time. When I find a few, I buy a few and keep them, but this is one of my remaining boxes for this year. Airwick essential oil candles. The fun thing about these candles is that they're a little bit of a party trick. So I have one burning, let me show it to you. And when you watch this, the color of the candle actually changes. And it might be washing out a little bit on camera, but you can see now that the candle burns purple and then it'll change to green and blue and red and all kinds of different colors. So there's some gadget in this candle that makes it turn a different color. They do smell lovely. Um, I don't think they're the most fragrant candles that I've ever used, but it's like a little party trick, which is kind of cool. And I love having these out for special occasions. I'm gonna have this one out tonight for New Year's Eve. I do have a black edition as well. Um, I haven't seen these before, but I did pick this up. I'm interested to, to try it and see if it, um, looks as cool in the in the clear part of the packaging as it as it looks like on the on the actual package cardboard package itself but that's the design on the front of the candle so I'm excited to use that one as well a newly discovered thing for me in 2014 is the use of eye masks I never really used eye masks before and then I took an overnight flight to get back from a work trip and on that flight they handed out eye masks and I was amazed at how well I slept without having the interruption of light hitting my eyes and you know people passing by and those types of things so with my earphones in and my on my eye mask on I was sold so I went to Walgreens earlier this year and I found this Bucky eye mask looks like a little bra for your eyes actually and um, when I need to sleep in or when I need to block out the light I just put this little baby over my, obviously I put the elastic part over my head, put this on my eyes and I sleep like I probably never have before. In addition to that, I also found a cooling eye mask. Um, this one is from Therapearl. I went ahead and ordered this and it has all these little tiny gel-like balls that are contained within this package. And again, it has an elastic thing at the, at the back and you just put this over your eye. The Directions say that you can apply this for 20 minutes as doctor recommended um, and remove and wait 20 minutes. So you can use this for cold or heat therapy and it does give you indications on the back of the masks, on the back of the mask itself on how to heat and um, utilize this product. But 
if I've been having uh, a rough week or if I've been upset and maybe I've been crying or something like that, I really like the, the cooling effect. I pop this in the fridge or freezer for a little while, get it cold, put it up to my eyes and it really has that cooling sensation. Or if I'm also needing a little bit of heat therapy to my eyes, this little baby's been quite a nice addition to the medicine cabinet this year. My heating pad and hopefully I can get the whole thing in here. You can see it's a little bit of a different shape than most traditional heating pads. It's intended so that these straps on the side, they actually pull out a little bit. Let me pull one side. They're elastic, so they pull out the side of this heating pad. Its intention is to be able to strap around your body and secure that heating pad in place in front of you so that it keeps it in place and it won't move on you. I never really use it that way, but um, I really do, I do like the shape of it so that whether I'm using it on the front of me or the back of me, depending on what I'm using this for, I can get uh, the most benefit out of the shape of this as possible. The other thing I really like about it is that it has five heat settings. So it has warm, medium, warm, medium, medium, high, and high. And the other big thing that I'm really liking about this is that it self, self turns off. I'll be honest, sometimes I fall asleep with a heating pad on if I've had a really bad crampy day or something like that. So I really enjoy that this turns itself off. It's a lot safer and it's a lot better for my skin and my body not to be laying and sleeping on a very hot pad for who knows how long. But this is the control unit on it and you can see the temperature gauges there on off and that's just how you move your, your temperature gauges. I also have become a huge fan of lavender this year. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with me, um, but I had this essential Hugo Natural Mist Calming French Lavender from a gift set from years and years ago. I don't even know where I got it at this point, but um, I use this sometimes on my pillow, my bedding. At night, I just spritz it all over there and it just gives off that nice lavender smell and helps me, I feel, rest a little bit better at night. Chris's grandmother also made these lavender sticks for us when she came up to visit from Arizona. They're all bent inside and, and binded together. And all you need to do is just kind of roll it with your fingers and it emits a new scent, a new array of lavender coming out of this thing. It's amazing how long this has lasted. They were up here this summer in July and I can still roll this sucker and really get a flavor of that lavender and it's just such a special treat at bedtime to, to be able just to do a quick little roll of that and, and get that aromatherapy for your system. Another thing that I am really passionate about this year is my Crosley record player. I do have a blog post on that so I will link that down below. But I have been listening to that thing nonstop. I'm loving looking for new vinyl albums and uh, shopping together with Chris. That's kind of our thing. So um, it's kind of become a new pastime for us and I am loving that this year. A movie favorite of mine for the year is The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Again, I have a blog post on that and I will link that down below for you, but that is probably my favorite movie from this entire year. Speaking of blogging, another favorite of mine is the Artful Blogging magazine. If you are a blogger or somebody looking to maybe get into blogging, I'm really enjoying this quarterly issued magazine. And I got my first one of these at our, our local Hastings here when I was first thinking about starting a blog and just having a forum for me to express myself and to talk about things that are important to me. Um, without always constantly relying on my support system, whether it be Chris or my family, it really just gives me an opportunity to, you know, talk about some of those things and voice some of those opinions and get all that stuff off my chest without constantly bugging them about it all. But this magazine, Artful Blogging, is visually inspiring online journals and it adds a little bit more of a creative artistic element to blogging than if you were thinking about just starting a blogging, a blog just to write, 
but I also love photography and I'm trying to get more into that and learn more and expand my skills. This has been really helpful for me to expand some of my creative interest and a lot of these really, really have um, encouraged me to, to do a little bit more of an artistic approach to my blogging and my vlogging here on YouTube. A lot of the bloggers that I follow or those that I followed because of bloggers that I already follow, a lot of those come from this magazine. So it's actually been quite a little treasure for me this year. Another magazine that I am obsessed with, completely in love with, can't get enough. And this was a recommendation from Miss Glamorazzi. I watch her channel here on YouTube. And this was a magazine that she mentioned a couple months back. But it is the Darlene magazine, and this magazine is again a quarter issued, quarter, quarterly issued magazine. The nice thing about this magazine is that it's almost like a cooperative magazine. There is not any advertisements at all in this entire magazine, and it's and it's quite thick. It's very well structured. The paper weight is very heavy, but the articles and the the artistic approach to to this magazine is is just um, it's amazing and it's really fun to find a piece of literature out there today that is not just solely focused on the amount of advertisements that they can sell so darling magazine is the art of being a woman their whole mission and premise is printed on the back of both of the issues that I've got so far I believe that they come on each of the issues but I've only received two of these so far this year because I subscribed a little bit late, but um, basically it's just the art of being a woman and upholding the standards and you know everything that you would think about being a strong woman, this magazine delivers and really provides great literature and ideas and forums to express that and keep that tradition going. I have a couple of human favorites. First, I'll mention that on YouTube here, my probably all-time favorite human favorite is Emily Noel 83 I first started watching YouTube and quickly found her, and I've been a faithful follower of hers ever since. She does have several channels. She's got a vlog channel, a main channel, and then an express review channel. She primarily does beauty reviews. Um, but I just think she's an all-around awesome person, so I think checking out her channel is definitely worth the look. My latest person that it's, it's my favorite on YouTube is Mallory1712. She's just a sweet, sweet girl. I think I bond to her a little bit more closely because she is also battling a, a chronic illness, but through that she still smiles. She provides um, wisdom on Wednesdays to really help remind ourselves to overcome a lot of that but she's become an inspiration to me and I think it's definitely worth you checking out her channel as well. Lastly my other my last human favorite has to be my fiance Chris. Throughout this year we've gone through a lot. I've moved back home. We have figured out how to be in the same town and have three different families that we're juggling and we're not always perfect at it but we're a team. It's him and I against the world and I couldn't ask for a better partner for life and somebody that's as understanding of my moods and my pains and aches and belly aches and all of that going forward. So I just wanted to mention that I am so in love with him and I'm so incredibly amazed that I've landed this man and I just look forward to our wedding in 2015 and I look forward to sharing some of those um, some of those moments with the rest of you and thank you so much for watching my 2014 favorites I hope you had a wonderful year and I hope you have a great and blessed beginning to 2015 bye